I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to use Particle Illusion to create part of a simple lower third element. A lower third is the text and graphics that you see at the bottom of a video clip, typically identifying a person, location, or giving some other information about a shot. Besides Particle Illusion, you'll need a paint application that you can use to create an image with an alpha channel, which we'll use to define the lower third area. Use your favorite paint app and create an image that contains the area you want to fill with the lower third graphics and make it transparent inside of this area. Here I'm creating a simple rectangular area using Photoshop and saving as a PNG file with an alpha channel to preserve the transparency. Now open Particle Illusion 3. Add the image you just created as the background image for the layer. Now open the Transparency dialog. Make sure the Use Existing Image Transparency option is checked, and check Use Image as Stencil. That's the key. If the Use Existing Image Transparency option is disabled, you didn't save an alpha channel when you created your image. Close the Transparency dialog and add your emitter to the same layer. You'll see that the particles are only displayed in the transparent area of your image. You can get more fancy with the image that you use for the stencil. Create an outline image that you can use as a single particle emitter, or create an emitter for the text, although it would be easier to use the text function of your video editor. But I'm not going into those here. Maybe I'll do that in a future tutorial. You can now render with an alpha channel and load that into your video editor, or you can create a new layer in Particle Illusion, move it to the bottom, and add your video there. I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch. Thanks for watching.